video let us look at this forensic topic which is uh, infamous conduct professional misconduct okay infamous conduct or professional misconduct we can ask professional misconduct you can uh, if they write then uh, you can is referring to a doctor's profession okay though here it's not very clear professional misconduct of your home of a doctor only okay this is what you will have to understand because it's a forensic science topic in mbbs now basically infamous conduct is that act of a medical man done in pursuit of his profession which would have which would be reasonably regarded as disgraceful or dishonorable by his professional brethren of good repute and competence oops let's break this down <clears throat> so who has done this a medical man disgraceful dishonorable what kind of act is this done by a medical man which is regarded as disgraceful or dishonorable okay by his professional other people who are of good repute and competence they consider this as a disgraceful dishonorable thing to do okay now let us look at some other things here it is called as professional misconduct as we already told you it is also called as ethical negligence so not medical negligence this is called as ethical negligence so just remember these words okay it's ethical negligence so dishonorable disgraceful thing it's ethical neg <coughs> sorry ethical negligence okay <coughs> next let us look at the five a's here there is adultery abortion alcohol addiction association advertising how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 six a's are there correct adultery or improper conduct with patient so abusing professional position by committing any adultery so it is a consensual sexual intercourse by a man with a woman other than his wife okay so this will be adultery so improper conduct with a patient maintaining improper association with patient all that will become adultery now let us look at abortion criminal abortion performing or enabling an unqualified person one second let me read that again guys please listen abortion criminal abortion this is not the normal abortion they are talking about criminal abortion here performing okay an unlawful abortion or enabling an unqualified person to perform an unlawful abortion okay Uh, against this mtp act so prenatal determination of gender and then inducing abortion because after this prenatal determination of gender all these are <clears throat> this is one of the professional misconduct okay remember the six a's next alcohol seeing or operating a patient under the influence of alcohol this seems to be like an arjun reddy movie right kabir singh movie alcohol operating a patient under the influence of alcohol seeing a patient under the influence of alcohol okay then addiction addiction <clears throat> addiction to narcotic drugs or selling drugs which cause addiction to patients okay that will come under addiction then association with unqualified persons and professional matters so basically here somebody who has no medical qualification only okay you are having some associations with them on these professional matters then here they are including one more thing issuing certificate of efficiency in modern medicine to unqualified people so if you are issuing some certificate that's also wrong next advertising we are back we are in the last a here advertising so advertising basically some things are permitted and some things are not permitted so just here this advertising guys we are looking at advertising take a break here if you want to break just take a mental break okay so we are looking at advertising here this is the 6th a there is some advertising which is permitted some which is not permitted first look at the permitted ones permitted a sign board mentioning the name qualification specialty at the clinic the residence that is allowed prescribing pad will have his name qualification specialty registration number contact details all that is fine putting the fees is is fine okay in the clinic it is fine then advertising in press okay on starting of practice 
or restarting it, that and all is fine. Change of address also is fine. But again here there is a clause, you should not do it more than twice or something. Then you can put advertisement in the press, okay, such as hospital, nursing home. But name of doctor should not be mentioned. Something is there that you can advertise guys, but name of doctor should not be mentioned like advertisement uh, which is such a hospital advertisement, nursing home ad advertisement etc. Then you can give public uh, lectures on public health, hygiene, that and all you can give talks on radio etc. Under own name you can do all that. Then what is not permitted guys? Now we will move to what is not permitted. Not permitted, I'll come cover in this video, wait, in this window, okay. You can't publish uh, how many cases you have treated, operated and all that. You can't do that. You can't put some large signboard. You can't put, you can't, um, where you don't work, no, where you don't reside, there you cannot put signboards. Like in chemist shop and all, you can't do your advertisement, okay. So you can't use uh, manufacturing ch uh, firms uh, to advertise, etc. for you. Then, we will move to the next point here. The next point is uh, what? Dichotomy. Dichotomy is fee splitting guys. Now we have finished the A's. Now we are going to the others. Okay. Dichotomy is fee splitting. Receiving or giving commission. Commission and all that not okay. Then issuing false certificates. We are moving to this. Obviously if you wish uh, give false certificate then what will happen? It is infamous conduct only. Professional misconduct, it is issuing false certificate, sick certificate, and all they'll give a lot. Then, violation of professional secrecy, just now you have seen all that. So, professional secrecy video you would have seen. Violating that will become infamous conduct. Violation of Drugs and Cosmetics Act, obviously, selling some Schedule H and Schedule L drugs and poisons to public except to his patient. All that is bad. Schedule H and Schedule L drugs so selling and all that is wrong. Except to your patients. To your patients you can give it's required. If it is required. Then refusing treatment on base of religious ground. It will become infamous conduct, professional misconduct or any other bias basically. Then no patients are coming. So you will use some touts or agents to procure patients. That's also infamous conduct. Then conviction. Conviction by court of law, some criminal act, all that will come under infamous conduct. Non-maintaining medical records, so if you are not maintaining medical records and failure to provide them when asked, all that will become infamous conduct. Absence from place of posting, so somebody does a rural posting and you are not there in more than two occasions during inspection, then God, it's professional misconduct. Ethical negligence. Now let us last move to medical le medical legal importance of all this. So basically the state medical council can take disciplinary action over the medically registered practitioner. Okay. That's good. Now let's move on. So we are done with the uh, infamous conduct guys. Professional misconduct. Ethical negligence guys. This is not medical negligence. Remember. Here the ethically itself the doctor is wrong. Medical negligence is something where you went to do something good but something bad happened. But here nothing he is trying to do good. Adultery he is not trying to do anything good. Abortion, criminal, criminal abortion he is doing. He is not trying to do something good. He is taking alcohol. He is addicted. He is uh, associating with unqualified people. He is doing some extra advertisement. He's doing some commission work. He's issuing false certificate. He's violating the professional secrecy. He's refusing treatment based on a religious grounds. Then uh, absence from place of posting. These are all ethical issues. You have understood the difference between medical negligence and ethical negligence, right? So ethical negligence will be infamous conduct, professional misconduct. Okay, hope you have understood, guys. We will meet you in the next video. We still have to cover one extra part of this okay that is disciplinary action for infamous conduct so why don't you come back in the next video to look at what can be done to punish this kind of a infamous conduct okay that's all for now guys bye bye